when I say like I'm from Mexico, like the first three things they think about is like Cancun, a Chapo, or the Netflix show Narcos. And nobody knows where you are from, so people think that I'm Romanian, I'm Philippine, I'm any other country. And when I say I'm from South America, they say. So welcome back to the channel, my name is Arno from France and in today's video I'm going to be asking Latinos living in the UK what it's like being Latino in the UK, how they feel about being here, if it's any different from their country, what are the differences as well. Don't forget to subscribe guys and also on my Instagram I'm sharing my day life in Sheffield so you can check that out too. Let's do it. Thank you very much for your time. So like what's your background basically? I was born in Colombia, I lived in Guatemala, but I grew up in Mexico, so I would say like I'm a full maybe Latino to some extent. And yeah, I came to study to the UK and I've been here like for six years now. What it's like being Latino in the UK? Like how do you feel about being Latino here? I think right now Latinos have become quite popular in terms of like, you know, music, even film is getting quite popular also. But in the UK, I mean, it's good yeah. to the extent of like people actually really enjoy like, knowing more about the culture but you also have like kind of like the down part is that we don't have good associations internationally because we have like crime and like a lot of people relate that to us and you have like for example the shows like narcos and stuff like that that they romanticize kind of like the violence that is happening in there and they ask a lot more than asking they really look at you like you should be proud of it like that pisses you off for example when someone you know brought it up i don't really know if it pisses me off just because i think it comes like from from ignorance the only relationship they have to our countries is like these shows that they make mm. which honestly i think they're good but yeah. it's not a representation of who we are and it's not something that we're proud of we saw it more like a historical <laughs> events that we hope we can get away with right now i mean to Colombians it happens a lot like but yeah. the first thing that people say to Colombians when they say they're from Colombia they say like oh Pablo Escobar cocaine and <laughs> yeah, like, that's the first thing that comes to mind <laughs> exactly exactly and that's like one of the things that you're like I mean we're more than just violence drugs cocaine like whatever so it has these ups and downs more ups I would say and like for example what's the differences like you know between the UK and Mexico you know what's the differences you can point out I mean the main one is weather and food but in terms of like people in here people are more reserved more individualistic i think in mexico they are more like collective also i would say in mexico right now there's a lot of classism i know that maybe in here is to some extent but not 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 as bad as it is in mexico okay. and safety safety in here is just coming from mexico like in here being safe is a kind of like a privilege okay. in mexico you're kind of like it depends on where you are the time you are it becomes like kind of like a lock thing to some points for example in mexico you cannot walk in the street at night it's too risky you'd say yeah it is dangerous but as long as one one of the things that i always say people like to want to go to mexico is just try to be aware of your environment you know and make the right decisions it, uh, in here you can walk at 2 a.m and you can be completely drunk and nothing but hopefully nothing will happen to you but in mexico like you need to be more aware of like how are you moving who are you going with so that's kind of like different in that sense you prefer the lifestyle in the uk or in mexico which one do you prefer the most so i would say like in the uk like i really like feeling safe it's not that in mexico is like completely unsafe but yeah. you know like you can just be more free if i had to choose yeah. i'm enjoying the uk now and there's like a lot of like diversity which i guess like you've seen like yeah. you can know you have like the whole world world in one country more or less. Do you have like any advice, you know, to the people wanting to come to the UK, you know, any advice for them? Get to know people. I think like in here most, I don't know if it's only with Latins or not, but like people that come here usually like stay in a bubble, like they leave Latin America in another country. I mean, you're in the other side of the world, just try everything. You, like you'll probably like something that you didn't even hear before, you know, so yeah, just try new stuff, talk to people. What's your background? Can you introduce yourself a little bit? I'm from Brazil. I'm from Fortaleza in the Northeast, where we have the best beaches in the country. How do you feel about being Latino here as a woman, you know? Uh, I'm very proud of my roots. I'm very proud of my Brazilian nationality. I think we bring a lot of joy. We bring the sunshine to this country. <laughs> we bring creativity. We bring, you know, we are very friendly, so we bring happiness yeah. to this country as well. And like, uh, what are the differences, you know, for example, between like Brazil and the UK, you know? Can you point out a few differences, you know? And the formality. <laughs> Probably we are much more informal in Brazil 
Okay. And people in the UK is more formal, but I think we can adapt to that. They actually apologize for everything and the way we write in mails. Mm. You know, it's not, we are very direct in Brazil, so we need to adapt. And then tone of voice as well. Okay. So I think it's not the same tone. We speak in English or in Portuguese. All we right. are louder speaking Portuguese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's more the way people uh, talk to each other, probably. Mm. We, we need more time to make friends in the UK. In, in Brazil, I think we make friends easier, faster, but maybe sometimes will not be a long term just, uh, relationship. So okay. maybe I think here people are more cautious about making friends and the right friends and I quite like that, to be honest. What's your background, basically? I'm from Mexico. The name of the city is called Morelia, Michoacán. So it's a state that is, we say that is quite in the center and we say that is close to Mexico City. But for us, close is three hours. Whereas here, <laughs> three hours in three hours, you can be in another country. Okay. It's kind of like a colonial city, lots of history. It's the capital of that state. What it's like being Latina in the UK? Like, how do you feel about, you know, being Latina here? First of all, I think we, we are seeing as a very exotic kind of like people coming from Latin America. I, I feel really good. I mean, we are immigrants that are very privileged to come to this country. Yeah. Like every time that they know that I'm from Mexico, from Latin America, they're like, oh yeah, you are like a very vibrant country. I feel very welcome, like when I tell them that I'm Latina. And like, for example, you know, what's the, um, the differences between the UK and Mexico? Like it can be anything. Yeah. Food, that's one of the biggest differences that I would say, like when I came here, yeah. I just like, I was eating potatoes, pizzas, pastas. Yeah. And in Mexico, we are not used to that. that much we eat a lot of maize or corn white corn okay. and that was a big difference for me like every time that I talk to my about my family to someone from here it's like I, I'm always saying like oh yeah my family and when I say my family I refer to my cousins and my relatives not just my nuclear family okay. and in my experience I always was telling my friends oh yeah my family and they were like oh yeah your dad your mom like no <laughs> no 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 I'm talking about my cousins my aunts my uncle so for us it's like like all that is family but here oh yeah that was one of the big differences like they mm. just saw their parents sometimes their siblings sometimes mm. and in mexico we are very right. kind of close i think in all latin america to be honest have you have like any bad experiences in the uk sadly in comparison to mexico i felt like uh, yeah, more secure. I can walk in the streets at, I don't know, after 12 and by myself as mm. women maybe. Whereas in Mexico, yeah, sadly, sadly you cannot walk at night by yourself. So yes, in terms of security, yes, I don't like to say this, but yeah, I feel more secure here. I can be by myself walking, like going up and down and things like that. Still, I have that kind of thing of Mexico, like I'm, mind. yeah, in the back of my mind, yeah. like I need to take care of my stuff and my things on my <laughs> mobile phone, yeah. but but not anymore. When you arrived here, it was pretty easy for you to get used to the language, the English language? I didn't speak English when I came to this country. Just basic, like, you yeah. know, like, my name is whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it was very difficult. And I thought that I knew the basics. So when I arrived to London, yeah. I, I needed to take the train from London to Sheffield. I was asking like people prefer directions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I didn't know why I, my English was very broken at that time, I think yeah. so. And I couldn't understand anything. And <laughs> that was the South. But then I came to the North, I arrived to Sheffield, a lady was sitting next to me. Yeah. I didn't understand anything, <laughs> anything. I was just like, is this English? Oh yeah. I was just like struggling so much, the accent and everything. But now I'm, I'm kind of like quite getting it. Like I love, like everyone is talking to you like with love. <laughs> I was yeah, like, exactly, definitely. Hello, love. How are you, love? And we were like, at the first, I was just like, oh my god, they call me love. I'm not your love. Okay, what's happening? But then, like, you start like kind of understanding the language, yeah. the slang that they use here. But it was very difficult, yeah, for sure. So you think you will stay in the UK for the rest of your life, or you might come back to Mexico someday? My parents will kill me. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. Oh my god. In front of the camera. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm sorry. <laughs> when I retire? <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not sure. No, we don't know. So first of all, can you maybe like, you know, introduce yourself? What's your background? Where are you from? So my name is Arturo. I come from Mexico. My hometown is a small city called Querétaro, which is just like a couple of hours driving from Mexico City. And I arrived here to the UK like nearly, nearly five years ago, more or less, yeah. What it's like being Latino in the UK? When I say like, I'm from Mexico, like the first three things they think about is like Cancun, a Chapo, or the Netflix show Narcos. A lot of people say Cancun because there are like these airlines that they offer like really cheap flights to go for holidays. So mm -hmm. most of the people go to Cancun, but there's like way other like places to visit in Mexico. Like Mexico is huge. And when they tell me like, oh, you, you know Cancun, like how far is from your home country? It's like, uh, it's like, um, two hours and a half flight and they're like is that that far it's like Mexico is a big country <laughs> do you think it's easy to make British friends or it's require like more work you know to really be close with them yeah definitely it requires a little bit more like work to like be able to be friends with them they can be like friendly at the same time they're not like really like open and like warming people compared to Latinos mm. so sometimes it's just a little bit difficult the way like British people make friends like first of all they will just ask you about like the weather and it's like <laughs> we, we can talk a lot about like way more things but like the first you think is like how's the weather like <laughs> it's really sunny today it's cloudy it's rainy it's snowing like What's the differences between like the UK and Mexico? When I arrived here, like I, there were like a lot of things that I didn't consider. Summertime and wintertime, yeah. that was something that I never considered when I arrived here. My first winter here, like mm. I felt like really depressed because I don't know, like in winter it gets dark at 4 p.m. It's like, what the hell? Yeah, yeah. But then like summertime, that it just gets dark really late. It's like, oh yeah, I enjoy the summer. Like this is my favorite time of the year. <laughs> like the way we just greet people like in Mexico we're just like really warming like we just like to kiss to hug and here it's like really difficult it's just like wave to people like keep keeping distance yes. but like in Mexico it's like another level like just hug your friends like for example like with a female friend like I would just give her like a kiss on the cheek which he will find it like quite uh, weird but yeah when you came here and you met some like British girls did you want to kiss them on the cheeks what was the reaction did you have like some bad reaction from them what happened at some point when I was just getting like really like friendly like yeah at some point I just wanted to like give a kiss on the cheek and they were like what are you doing <laughs> like okay yeah sorry just forgot but that happened like probably like the first months when I arrived here but afterwards like yeah So like if you compare the UK and Mexico, which lifestyle do you prefer the most, you know? Well, taking aside the job part, I like the lifestyle in Mexico more. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of the things that took me some time to get used to is like, for example, shops, they close too early. When I arrived here, if I wanted to buy something like 7, 8 p.m., yeah. the shops were closed. And Mexico is still open. Yeah, they, they will be still open until 11 or something like that. Do you have any advice, you know, for people wanting to come in the UK? Especially like for foreigner people like moving here to the UK. If you love your cuisine, try to bring as much of like your ingredients. British cuisine is definitely not the best. <laughs> Actually, like every time that I go to visit my parents, like it's just like once a year or something like that. I try with an empty luggage and then I arrive here with a, with a luggage full of food. So I can just cook like... I don't know, like uh, Mexican cuisine, Mexican meals. There are some really special things that not even the online Mexican shops they have. One of the things that I like, they are like really common in the south of Mexico, grasshoppers. A snack, but also you can put it like on quesadillas or like on tacos, stuff like that. So I always bring like a small jar of grasshoppers from Mexico and just bring it here. What's your background? Can you introduce yourself a little bit? I born in Venezuela, but my ground is a very diverse one. So my father is Peruvian, my mom is Venezuelan, but her family is Spanish. So I'm from Merida, Venezuela. It's the coolest city in Venezuela. So sometimes it actually does snow in the mountains. Yeah. And also it's the tallest teleferic in the highest one in the world in my city, Merida. Wow. Yeah. What it's like, you know, being Latina in the UK? Yeah. I think we have a good reception here. Yeah. The good, the bad thing though is that nobody knows where you are from. So people think that I'm Romanian, I'm Philippine, I'm 
any other country. And when I say I'm from South America, they say, oh, are you from Mexico? Because Mexico is the only country in South America, apparently. <laughs> Between like uh, Venezuela, in the UK, what's the different differences? You know, can you point out like some differences between like those countries? The foods. I mean, in Venezuela, we like to cook and uh, make nice foods uh, yeah. with salt. And I feel that obviously in England, people eat very basic. When I came to England, I didn't like to cook that much. Okay. And I was living with British people, and I was eating with them, and I didn't like the food. So I started to cook, and now I love cooking, and I love my food for the first time because oh. <laughs> I realized that yeah. I mean, our food is nice. <laughs> so we eat a lot of rice, pasta, beans, wheat, arepa, cachapa, which is a corn, like sweet bread. Between people, can you point like some differences between like people, you know, in Venezuela and in the UK? Venezuelan people, we're very friendly. Yeah. I would say British people are also, but British people are more polite and respect you a lot. And in that way, there is obviously a, a separation. In Venezuela, we are like more party and come to my house and mm. it's a bit different in that way. However, I like that British people respect you for what you believe, what you are, yeah. and I do like that at all. Um, in Venezuela, we're very friendly, so I, in my street, I will know all my neighbors. Okay. That's something I hear well don't happen very often. So British people, they help you if you pass in, they open the door for you, things like that. That doesn't happen in my country. They're very friendly at all, but they don't know how to be very gentleman, I would say. A lot of gentlemen in, in England, so I do have to say. So when you came here, did you have like any like, you know, like weird experiences, you know, because you had the habit to kiss people on the cheeks? The thing is that when I came to England, I was very scared of everything that I wouldn't come to people to do that. And first of all, I didn't speak English at all, so I'm yeah. sorry about my English. <laughs> so I was learning the language. I was so afraid of everybody that I will not do that as I do it now. Now right. I do it with everybody and normally British people accept it. Um, yeah. I haven't had bad situations until now, I think. <laughs> so do you have like any advice for people watching you, you know? for people wanting to come in the UK? First thing, be on time. <laughs> that's what I will say because that's something that I learned here. I was told time. In my country, you say, we're gonna get here at five and people arrive at six and it's completely normal. But in here, if you say at five, people are here half before five, like 4.30, they're already here waiting for you. And that was something that I was, I need to learn it. Respect other people. People here respect a lot of others. So yeah. don't make comments about other people like you will do in your country, because in my country, it's very normal that people make comments about others and we don't feel bad about that. Yeah. But in here, people are very respectful. They can actually say to the police that you've been saying <laughs> bad things about them. And yeah, I would say just, be careful what you say, be respectful. I feel that people sometimes are also very patient with your English in here because my English is not perfect and it's been all right for me.